don't see it yet but i feel it and it's a bullet and you know what there's a good chance there's gonna be more because there's never just one and that's a beauty right there so we're getting ready to do a little metal detecting today and we're going to go to a place where there was a civil war battle now i've been to this place before but i suspect i probably missed a few things and other people have missed things as well and but if that doesn't pan out i got another spot i'm going to check uh that i've never ever been to that could be pretty good uh, but i suspect the first place we're going to go is going to be the best so what do you say we go ahead and jump in the boat and we'll head um we'll head out and see what we can find i suspect it'll be good at least one thing one civil war relic will make the day but we're not going to stop at one <laughs> if we ever stop talking here we go deer and a little BB. I have to walk up past her unfortunately but it's not hunting season so we'll be safe. <laughs> there we go. Oh wrong way Oregon. <laughs> you too mama. <laughs> the other day I was out and I saw a doe had three oh look at the butterflies had three um fawns single doe big pile of butterflies there. Oh there's only four there, but there are a whole bunch of them. You see them all flying around. I've been detecting now for about 10 minutes. I haven't found anything old yet, but I'm not done. <laughs> I'm not actually where I wanted to go yet either, which is a good thing, I guess. All right, so we have arrived to where I wanted to check out. Now, this isn't the spot that um, I haven't been. I've been, to, I've been here before, found a lot of good stuff. And I'm hoping that there might be a few things left. Now, it's been hit a lot by other people probably since the last time I've been here. But it's hard to get everything, especially when it's like this. You know, you get a lot of mud. And there's tons of cans in here. Silly sticks. These are beaver sticks. Um, these are sticks that uh, beavers cut down. You can see the two marks on the ends there. And they ate all the bark off of the, off of the tree. Because that's, that's what they live on. That's what they like is the bark. Um, lots of beaver sticks. There's going to be plenty of GRDS, which is an intestinal disease you get from beavers and other animals. Um, but if you get lucky, we will see a nice beaver. You know what's not to like about seeing a nice wild beaver? We get big too. Strong like bull, those beavers. <laughs> strong like, I guess you said, strong like cow, those beavers. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get in the water and start digging. I'll be quiet. Okay, we got a first target out of the water, and I promise I'm only going to show you this one time. Um, you know, if it's after the fact. First signal of the day is a beer can. You can see it's uh, pretty chewed up. You get like that when they've been in the river for a while. It's just really thin, and um, you know they get torn apart in floods, I guess. Now this place is noted for the number of beer cans and soda cans, so I'm probably going to dig like 50 of these today, but. When these kind of targets are still down there in the mud, that could be a Civil War item very easily. So there's, there's hope. There's definitely hope here. All right, before we get moving again, uh, let me show you something real quick. Just in case this video turns into a yapper, I need stuff to yap about. Here are all those uh, beaver sets that we were showing you, but look at these uh, uh, nuts. These are walnuts, probably black walnuts. Um, they smell really good to me. Uh, the stuff... Uh, the insides will stain your your skin like crazy but look at these here's some little baby paw paws green as can be nowhere near right but that tells us there's some paw paw trees up here somewhere and if it was probably a month later they'd be ripe and we'd be eating giant paw paws right now and be very happy but we'll just have to be happy uh, that we're here looking for civil war bullets i think we're going to find a good ban i think we'll find like a bayonet today Maybe even a sword or musket. So I'm still finding mostly cans, but in this deeper water, there are so many uh, squeakers. Um, you know, there might be about 99% cans, but there's no way, I'm telling you, there's no way some of these targets aren't good Civil War items. Because um, I just know it, I can tell you. A little too deep, and you see it's, well, you know, it's not terribly deep, but it'd be a lot easier for me if I bring some scuba deer, scuba deer, scuba, <laughs> scuba gear. 
too many R's or not enough. I'm not sure which is uh, which way I'm going to go with that one. Um, I'll bring some scuba gear. We'll come down here, and that way we can just kind of like lay on the bottom and work our way up upstream. It's a little murky today. It does get a lot more clear than this, and uh, we'll come back. We'll lay on the bottom and just go up through here and pick up plates and you know belt buckles and bullets and all kinds of cool stuff. I'm getting a few signals up in here. I got um like something there. It doesn't sound like a bullet, but back up in here where the water moccasins are. Up in there, see the loop? That's a good squeak right there. Not reading real high, but I, th I think that's gonna be a bullet or something up in there. This I'm not sure, so sure about, but let's go ahead and uh, work on them. I'm going to turn the machine off. I'm going to use a pinpointer. Got to tuck to my belly. What that thing's at? Nope. <laughs> a piece of tin. Yeah, a little piece of can. And I think there's going to be more. It sounds, I don't know if you heard the signal skipping around a little bit. All right, I'll get the big machine out for that, but let's go ahead and crawl up into the snake pit. Oh, look at the giant spiders. <laughs> hey, Bubby. <laughs> um, hopefully, they won't get on us. Let's crawl up in there and see what we can see. What do you say? You gotta promise me if a giant spider jumps on my head that you will let me know. All right. Oh, I'm gonna play now. Oh, yeah. <sighs> All right, it's an old beaver den, really. This thing was up in here. I hope it's not just a can that's washed in. Yeah, see that clay is making this thing go off. The problem is there's so much, um, the clay is making it go off. Like, yeah, no, something right here. There we go, we're getting close. That's gonna be a bullet, I bet. Or two. <laughs> I've actually found pretty good uh, relics along this bank right here. It's definitely getting louder the deeper I'm going. What I'm doing is using my fingers and I'm clawing in the, on the clay like a quarter of an inch at a time. Uh-oh. Oh, buddy! Don't see it yet, but I feel it and it's a bullet and you know what? There's a good chance there's gonna be more because it's never just one and that's a beauty right there. That's a nice, beautiful drop Civil War mini ball. Perfect shape, probably about the same color that it would have been when they made them and when they used them because of course these are lead and lead is dark until it oxidizes when it oxidizes it turns white that's why a lot of the bullets that you see us find you know mini balls uh they've been laying in the ground for 160 years and they turn white over time but when the soldiers had them this is what they look like maybe a little darker kind of you know as dark as the darkest spots on that it's a great little find i think it's going to be more in a hole too I'm not gonna put you under. I don't want to get rabies. Come on, oh yeah. I heard another, thought I heard a beep. Oh, lots of beeps, lots of beeps. Oh, that's a bunch of them, dude. Yeah, I wish I could get you underwater to see this, but there's no way it's gonna clear, but I got, two more and I can feel like them laying across the bottom so it's probably like a whole cartridge box here um, and it could even be the cartridge box plate which will have a US on it it looks a lot like a belt buckle over here you know of course if a snake comes we're never going to get these things there you go right there <laughs> that's, that's beautiful I mean, not 100% there's more but I'm pretty sure there's more in there okay oh, yes there is that's not even the hole that's outside the holes. That might be another uh, another bunch of them. Yeah, oh yeah. I could just going off like crazy down here. Crazy. I'll do some fanning. I wish I could get you under there. I, what I really wish, I know this is really tough, but you know, they, that I, I wish you could feel it. Because that's how I find a lot of the stuff. You know, you get your fingers down in there and it's a soft, nice, nice. Well, it's actually kind of a firm clay, but it's very fine grained. And when you're breaking your fingers across it slowly, you hit these little hard spots, and those are the bullets. And it's just so exciting when you start to feel that. And of course, what I'm hoping I'm going to feel here soon is a spot where it's like a bigger spot that's hard and smooth. And that would be a cartridge box, a uh, plate, or a belt buckle, or something like that. And it's a good chance there'll be one in here. So what I'm going to do is 
just feel around we're just going to start pulling stuff out of the hole with our fingertips i do have a rock in here nice big rock all right here comes another one there you go look at that beauty Come back under see there's some more i'm just going to feel with my fingers i'm not going to eat up oh, there no that's a what's that that is a little pebble. I was hoping it was going to be like part of a, maybe a rivet or something out of the cartridge box. I'm not really feeling any metal, um, like um, tin or anything from a cartridge box liner. I'm also feel, feeling for leather. Leather. That could be something right there. Right here I'm getting, might be a root, but there's a, something that's not that fine, silty stuff. So we're going to be really careful just in case that's part of a, a belt buckle. A uh, little piece just broke off. Let's see what it is. That is a piece of wood. So that's probably a root. But you know, it's kind of a slow process. But we don't want to. Uh, we don't want to rush it because we don't want to break anything. If there's a belt, belt, actual belt in here, which is very possible. Okay, I'm feeling with my fingers. It's really, really hard clay there. Not really feeling. Oh, it's a shell. Not feeling any more bullets though. I want to be careful of that piece of wood to make sure it's not a uh, musket uh, stock or something. So that's possible. Still kind of um, not feeling any more bullets. So that piece of wood though is interesting. I can't I, I can't tell if it's going to be like a stock. It's more hard things down there. I don't know if they're going to be rocks. Now, I'm not here anymore with a pin pointer. So what I'm going to do is um, let's pull up a piece of this wood. I really think it's going to be the root. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely a root. And um, what we'll do is we'll get the uh, metal detector in here. Oh, something's up there. What that is. I'll tell you what, let me grab my pulse before we go. Probably a beaver. Something made the wood, the uh, dirt fall, so something went across up there. Probably a raccoon or something. But yeah, so we have four beautiful mini balls That's awesome um the detector out and see if it hits in on any more in there okay i don't miss any up in there there's some stuff there and that's where we found that piece of that can though i'm thinking there's something over there what i'm gonna do so i'm gonna kind of swim underneath there with a pin pointer and see if we can find it if it's another pocket of bullets i'll get you out but yeah there's fuel four beauties right there that made my day that was pretty exciting that's awesome man isn't it <laughs> yeah it is and you know it that's a beaver hole right there and i'm kind of moved out here and i'm getting a lot of like broken up signals so i dug down is there everything's quite buried but i'm getting a lot of like pieces of this uh this tin like stuff which could be uh cartridge box now the cartridge box liners or tins that went into the um the leather pouch that they carry these could be pieces of that uh, you know, I've been getting a lot of this and a couple square nails, so I'm going to just work this area with a pin pointer and see if I can pull out a bullet or two or maybe a belt buckle or a gold coin. Almost enough current that you can start to go under, but just not quite enough yet. So I'm about 15 or 20 feet from the beaver hole and I got another pretty decent signal under there. I went ahead and dug it because I've been digging some cans. Can slaw anyway, but anyway, I just dug this. Another... Civil War mini ball. That's actually been chewed on a little bit. It looks like the base. Isn't that weird? Probably like a squirrel or chipmunk or something. But yeah, so I've got another another mini ball right there. Let's go ahead and take the machine and see if we can get another another signal. <laughs> that was squeaking, but it could be me. So I just found this little thing up, you know, right about where I found that bullet. And it looks like I don't know, I guess it's like Fold it up lead. I don't know if that's I guess that's gonna be lead, not silver. I was thinking it might be a coin that's all mashed up. Maybe it was in somebody's pocket when a mini ball passed by, but I don't know, it doesn't really feel quite as heavy enough for lead, but general area where the bullet was, so let's listen. Of course I found a can there too, so <laughs> yeah, no more signals in that hole. Take a look. I see that kind of like a rounded edge right there. That's why I was thinking it might be a ma mangled up coin, but I'm kind of I'm not 100% on that one. We'll unfold it before the end of the video. I promise. 
Now that really is the beaver layer. That's where the beaver lives. You see where it goes up under the root. You can see how the dirt's kind of like, uh, you know, all the sticks are gone and it's kind of cleaned out. You can actually see where he's dragging his feet through there. So it goes up under there. So he's got a, probably a bank den up underneath that tree. And there's lots of limbs, uh, you know, tree limbs and stuff that he's been chewing on here. So definitely one up in there. We probably won't go up too far looking for him. But, you know, we're going to go up in that beaver. I mean, up in that hole just a little bit. Sometimes it sounds good. Sometimes it doesn't. So I'm hoping it could be a deep bullet. Let's get the pinpointer. I'm digging a lot of pieces of, like, trap chain. Um, chains that people use for trapping and maybe uh, most of a uh, fishing uh, leader or a uh, thing you put the fish on that was made out of metal. Yeah, okay, so we're getting a little bit, I don't know if you hear the buzz, but definitely getting a little bit of buzz and we're down onto the rock layer, which is a good sign. Beaver hole's there, and now I guess I'll call it the beaver hole too. And that squeaker I was working on that I wasn't sure if it was going to be good or not is a Civil War bullet. Look at that. That is a Williams cleaner. That's a special type of bullet that the Yankees used that uh, when you fired it, that little flat thing disc on the bottom would be pushed up into the lead. And see that little white ring? That's actually a zinc disc. And that zinc disc would flatten out and be pushed into the barrel of the gun tight and as it spun out of the barrel it would clean the barrel that's why they call it a cleaner bullet now i can't imagine that it's just warm that thing was really deep so let's go let's see if there's any more in that hole i can't imagine that's the only one now nah, there's more squeaking <laughs> i don't think that's the clay the ground God, wind is something. I know it's, it's probably terrible for you guys. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's more down there. Um, let me listen to the big machine just to make sure. Yeah, there's more in there. What I'll do is I'm going to work on this since it's so windy. Um, I know it's probably terrible on the video right now. I'm going to try to clean this up a little bit, let it clear out, and let you guys take a look down there. What do you say? Just give me a minute. Okay, I got it cleaned out a little bit, and um, there's some, definitely some beeping down there. So I'm going to put you under, see if you can see any. A little bit underwater action for you. No, you're like me, you like to get wet. Here we go. definitely think there's some more in there but they're a little bit further into that uh, mud wall I haven't quite dug over far enough so let me go ahead and dig some more and I'll put you back under again okay if this doesn't work this time I'll just go ahead and dig them um, because it just takes too long for it to clear out it just kind of hangs in there get your fit <coughs> get your hand in there a little bit and kind of and move the water like that it helps pull it up out of the hole problem is we got a little vortex going on over there now in the main part of the hole where we had all the beeping i just dug another williams cleaner i don't hear anything in the center but there may be some on the sides now i'm really excited about this because these are nice drop bullets you can just picture the soldiers came running across that land right there down over the side they were being shot at and killed right up there on that bank and they uh tumbled into the river right here and this is what they of what they dropped um they dropped a lot more than this but that's what we're finding today now there could be anything in that hole where that soldier fell there could be coins there could be gold watchers there could be bayonets there could be pistols could be anything right there that's why we're going to keep going that and i like me lead oh i didn't find anything else there just a few pieces of iron so you ready let's go ahead and shove the metal detector head up in there and see if there's any treasures <laughs> you go. No. No, I don't hear any squeakers. I don't think I'd go up in there too far anyway. Be careful. Hopefully, he won't come out after us. We're going to keep moving up along the bank here, and hopefully, we'll find a few more items before we have to scoot. That's the second beaver hole there. And before I left this area, I just went over this again. That's where I found the two Williams cleaners. And I'm getting a lot of like weird little signals here. So I started digging around with a pinpointer, and I just dug this piece of copper wire i also dug another mini ball this is a dropped civil war mini ball and i think it's probably the black powder in the base you can see that black yeah it's definitely black powder um because this would have had a paper cartridge attached to it 
with the black powder in it and the cartridge paper part of course right away came out from the beaver hole just a little bit and into deeper water and i just dug another mini ball so they're scattered out here too that's a good sign i got another good squeaker in the same hole so i imagine it's at least another bullet if not a u.s belt buckle <laughs> I think it's clear enough for you. I do not see anything, but it doesn't mean there's nothing there. <laughs> All right, don't forget. Hold your breath. I wish I'd brought my mask so we could look up. Uh, I could go under with you so I could see him better. It's in the boat, but tell you what, let's just dig a couple more and then we're gonna move on, okay? And we'll come back. I'll go get my mask and stuff, but um, I wanna I wanna go up there a little bit further before it gets too late. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go ahead and head out of here. I think it's clear enough we can do some scuba diving here next time, though. So thanks for joining me today. <laughs> You're going to see you in the next one, I hope. <laughs> we'll make it to the boat. She'll shake the coins from your pocket Take your gold chain and your locket Mother Earth has no sympathy She'll take the ring from your hand And bury it in the sand And keep it for eternity Mother Earth, she's got her secrets She's promised to keep Hidden in her dirt or deep in her creek Mother Earth, she ain't saying exactly what she's saving, where it is or what it might be. Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby. I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She don't care if you're dying.